Today, we're going to be reading about parting of friends. Let's go! One day, while Beer Ball was away on a mission, Emperor Upcar called his courtiers together. I'm a little worried about Prince Salam. Why, Uzar? He's a fine boy, and so handsome too. Upper interrupted. Yes, I know. He was a good boy, but of late, he has fallen into bad company. Oh, you mean that boy Yazian? Yes, that fellow is no good. Salam had learned the royal duties so well. I was really proud of him, but now all he does is lays about all day, play cards, and go for a shinkar. Yes, that's true, but Huzar, it is difficult to separate a six year old from his friend. This is why I'm consulting you. After all, as the prince, his future is your concern too. We will try to find a way. But a whole month passed. No one could think of a plan to correct the prince. Huzar, send Yazin away to another place. No, that, that will only turn Solom against me. Why not tell Salam what you think of Yazian? No, Mizra, Mirza, that might make Salam more fond of him. When Birbal returned from his travels, Abkar turned to him for help. You want to separate the two young men? Why? Give me just two days. The next day at court, Abir called Yazian. Biz! Out loud, he said, Now, don't breathe a word of this to anyone. Birbal must be going crazy. He just said one, just one seed in every mango. As soon as the court dis disappeared, Salam rushed to meet Yazian. What book was it? What secret did Birbal tell you? Nothing. He just whispered some nonsense. Salam was now convinced. He couldn't have called you in the Dubar just to whisper nonsense. It's true, even I cannot understand it. But surely might have, must have said something. All right, if he insists, all he, all he said was just one seed in every mango. You are hiding something from me, Yazian. I thought you were my friend. Of course I am. I'm telling you the truth. I don't believe you, Yazian. But it is true. He said... Just then, maybe he's going crazy. But Beerball, who was secretly overhearing the conspiration, was far from crazy. Yes, Ian, I don't want to talk to you ever again in my life. If you don't trust me, I too don't want you as a friend. And soon, Salam went back to his royal duties. The f and that is the end of Parting of Friends. See you in the next chapter. Bye!